The wooden churches of southern Lesser Poland of the UNESCO inscription are located in Bynarowa, Blizna, Debno, Hachow, Lipnica Marijuana, and Sokoa. There are in fact many others of the region which fit the description. The wooden churches of southern Little Poland represent outstanding examples of the different aspects of medieval church building traditions in Roman Catholic culture. Built using the horizontal log technique, common in Eastern and Northern Europe since the Middle Ages. The wooden church style of the region originated in the late medieval, the late 16th century, and began with Gothic ornament and polychrome detail, but because they were timber construction, the structure, general form, and feeling is entirely different from the Gothic architecture or Polish Gothic. Later construction show Rococo and Baroque ornamental influence. The form of these Roman Catholic churches is deeply influenced by the Greco-Catholic and Orthodox presence in the region. Some display Greek cross plans and onion domes, but the most interesting of the churches combine these features with the Roman forms with elongated naves and steeples. Other collections of wooden churches of the region are in the open-air museums in Sanic and Nawi Sanch. St. Michael Archangel's Church Binarova St. Michael Archangel's Church is a Roman Catholic Gothic wooden church located in the village of Binarova, southeast Poland, dating from the 15th or early 16th century. Together with different churches is designated as part of the UNESCO Wooden Churches of Southern Lesser Poland. A document from 1415 informs of the existence of a wooden parish church in Binarova, which is acknowledged by Jan de Lugos on the turning point of the third and fourth quarter of the 15th century. The present church was built around 1500. The date of the church's consecration remains unknown. In the next centuries a number of renovation works took place, to keep the church in its best state. In 1596, a nave tower was built. In the first half of the 16th century, the church's interior was almost entirely decorated in a polychrome. Between 1602 and 1608, the church had been built a bell tower. Between 1641 and 1650 the church had undergone an extensive reconstruction, with a painting of the guardian angels added to the nave. The tower received a new topping. The metronium was reconstructed. The window openings were enlarged, and a new polychrome was done to decorate the walls. In 1844, an extensive renovation of the church included the removal and the saboti, which were constructed before 1601. The furnishings were replaced. Between 1890 and 1908, the church's weak structure was secured, the wood shingle walls were replaced with planks, and columns were placed in the naive. Between 1953 and 1956, the church was renovated. In the 1990s, the church was restored to its original structure, with the roof tin replaced with wood shingle. Between 2010 and 2012, the church was renovated, restoring the church after damage made in the 2010 flood. All Saints Church, Blizna All Saints Church in Blizna a Gothic, wooden church located in the village of Blizna from the 15th century, which together with different churches is designated as part of the UNESCO Wooden Churches of Southern Lesser Poland. The church in Blizna is one of the most notable heritage sites of wooden sacramental architecture in Poland. As one of the most notable wooden churches in Poland, the church is part of the trail of wooden architecture in the Subcarpathian Voivodeship. A unique church parish complex situated on a hilltop, surrounded by ancient woodland. The wooden church has fortification structures, raised in the 15th or 16th century, in the Gothic architectural style. The church's tower was built in the first half of the 17th century, with the saboti deconstructed. Architecture The church is built with the technology used to build a log house, built from fir planks. Initially, the church had a hook-block connection, characteristic of Lesser Poland architecture. A large bell tower is located to the west of the church, with hanging a starling. The dome of the church is covered with wood shingle. The church is surrounded by a garden with walled chapels. St. Michael Archangel's Church Debno St. Michael Archangel's Church in Debno is a Roman Catholic Gothic wooden church located in the Polish village of Debno from the 15th century. Together with different churches, it is designated as part of the UNESCO Wooden Churches of Southern Lesser Poland. The first church in Debno was most likely raised in the 13th century. The present church was built in the second half of the 15th century, in the location of the former church. The church is one of the best-kept wooden Gothic churches in Poland, and is seen as a landmark of Poland internationally. The church remains in its original structure, with a unique polychrome interior from around 1500, making it the oldest existing polychrome made from wood in Europe. The church is considered to be one of the oldest structures of its type in Poland, speculated to be second after the St. Michael Archangel's Church's Tower in Binarowa. Assumption of Holy Mary Church Hachow Assumption of Holy Mary Church in Hachow a Gothic, wooden church located in the village of Hachow from the 15th century, which together with different churches is designated as part of the UNESCO Wooden Churches of Southern Lesser Poland. The church in Hachow is the largest wooden Gothic church in Europe, and simultaneously one of the oldest wooden framework churches in Poland. History The wooden church in Hachow was built out of a wooden framework, raised after 1459, and expanded in 1624.
the creation of windows in the nave, and the building of an earth bulwark, between 1784 and 1789. The interior of the church is decorated with a polychrome from 1494, and later expanded in 1864. St. Leonard's Church, Lipnica Marijuana Street Leonard's Church in Lipnica Marijuana, a Gothic, wooden church located in the village of Lipnica Marijuana from the 15th century, which together with different churches is designated as part of the UNESCO Wooden Churches of Southern Lesser Poland. History The church is located by the Ushwitsa River, beyond the former levee in Lipnica Marijuana. The church was most likely built at the end of the 15th century, on the location of a former church. According to the town's tradition, the church was built in 1143 or 1203 This date can be seen on the northeast wall of the chancel, in the location of a former pagan crom. The church is found today in a near-untouched structure, and belongs to the most notable wooden Gothic churches in Poland. The church is orientated, built from wooden framework, bipartite. The chancel is surrounded by three walls. The nave is wider, in the shape of a square. In the 17th century, the church was surrounded with picturesque saboti, during which a bell tower was constructed. There is no sacristy by the chancel. The roof is covered with wood shingle, with tradition. There are only windows in the southern side of the church, with the entrance doors to the south and west of the church. Saints Philip and James Church, Sokoa Saints Philip and James Church is a Gothic, wooden church in the village of Sokoa from the 15th century. Together with different churches it is designated as the UNESCO Wooden Churches of Southern Lesser Poland. Due to its history and unique architecture the church is frequently called the Pearl of the Beskid Niski. History A one nave, three-sided chancel, wooden framework church, built on gravel foundations. The large walls of the church are covered with wood shingle. The narrow chancel and wide nave is covered by a steep roof. The church was expanded in the 17th century. The side of the church has a small bell tower, with a lantern. In 1819, the sacristy and metronium was reconstructed, before 1888, covered in a neo-Gothic polychrome. The interior in the nave is covered with flat slabs, which change in shape, with a rectangular window in the arch, with a wooden crucifix from the 16th century. The interior of the church is not complete, as the church was damaged during 1914 to 1915 years of World War I, in the Gorlis Tarno Offensive. After World War I, the church was reconstructed in 1918, and in the second half of the 20th century.